When it comes to regrets, Nicola Gobbo has quite a few. In hindsight, there's a lot of things that I would have done differently. Among them, betraying her clients and leaking to police. Did you know it was wrong at the time? Um, well, quite, yes, of course I did. Well, why did you continue to do it? I felt pressure from all around, and you're right, I should have, you know, I should have walked away from all of them. It seems part of the answer was ego. And was I accumulating information and on one level trying to impress people around me? Um, yes, I was. Ms Gobbo was asked about her role in a series of infamous murders. She was one of the first to find out about the brutal slaying of Jason Moran because a gangland figure called her soon after. Uh, he may have said that it was at Auskick. I just can't recall now exactly the detail he told me. I didn't necessarily think much of it at the time. She admitted acting as a go-between for crime boss Carl Williams and disgraced police officer Paul Dale. Williams rang me and when um, Dale heard me answer the phone, he asked if he could speak to Carl and I handed him the phone. But she denied any involvement in the murder of police informer Terence Hodson. That I did not know. Nicola Gobbo's most explosive revelation today related to the murder of so-called vampire gigolo Shane Chartres Abbott. She suggested a police officer doctored a statement she'd made, inserting a confession from a key suspect. I can't remember ever meeting him. So you're surprised to see that in your statement? Yes. The hearing ended with more reflection on life as a police informer. And do I regret it? Yes, every day. She'll take the stand for a third day tomorrow. Danny Morgan, ABC News, Melbourne.